Hello and welcome to Emory University MBA program. This is Sajal Agarwal with Lillian Lakes, Jonathan Keane and Evan Shaw. We are second year MBA students and have developed a model for our decision tools and visualization class. The name of our model is Fortune 100 Company Profile Manager. This is basically a simulation, a dashboard that covers Fortune 100 companies. It is an updatable model consisting of parameters such as Fortune 100 rankings, employee satisfaction, job growth, salary, stock price, mark cap, etc. We have involved the formation of various graphs. The data would be updated once the new numbers are available through a web query. Example for stock prices, it would be updated every day. And for overall rankings, every year. The primary audience would be the prospective employees, like MBA students, like us. And secondary audience would be global and local investors, shareholders, and research agencies. It is a one-stop solution for all the users who otherwise have to log into different websites, like Via Finance, Fortune 100, CNN Money, etc., to get data. We have used last 15 years data to get the historical fortune rankings and measure how the companies have done in the past. Now I'll give you a live demo of our model. So as you can see from the dashboard, right now it shows Apple Incorporation, the company profile with its logo, competitors, company info, financial data, rankings, number of employees. Uh, bottom here, here, we have given selection criteria. We have used two methods, the direct selection method and weighting and consideration, wherein you can give uh, the numbers according to your importance. On the right-hand side, we have used the comparison charts, the historical stock price, and fortune historical ranking for the last 15 years, starting 1995. So, uh, to give a demo, I click on the button here to come up with company selection. Direct selection method, for example, I give as um, probably WellPoint, and it gives me the information of WellPoint. It is updated throughout, and see the company profile, number of employees, the Fortune 500 ranking has been 32, the financial data, company info the historical stock price of the company and likewise the fortune ranking last 15 years. Now if I go to the second selection criteria, weighting and consideration, if I give uh, the maximum importance to fortune 500 ranking, as you see one point is best and 100 points is worst, and if I update company info, it gives me Exxon Mobil as fortune 500 company and it is updated here and it gives all the information likewise, as I spoke about. Similarly, if we click on most admired now, I want two parameters, and it still is Exxon Mobil. If I do not update, if I update the company info, then it comes as Walmart, save money, live better, and it gives me the parameters. Finally, if I use one more parameter, say like company, uh, Fortune 500 rank, most admired and fastest growing. Now it gives me Apple as a company and it gives me all the information. So I think this is a great tool for all students, for all people in fact, who wish to follow companies, not just to get into the company like uh, entering the task force, the workforce, or even like investing into the company because it is giving us the historical stock price and the rankings and everything. So it is a great tool and one-stop solution, as I said, for uh, prospective employees, for people who are just willing to learn about the company. They don't need to go to different websites. They can just log in into our Fortune 100 company profile manager and learn and then take decisions based on this tool. I guess uh, this is a great project and we look to uh, involve more and more people and make them understand the value of this tool.